hello and welcome um it's monday it's just after eight o'clock um i said i wasn't gonna film until like wednesday in like the last little clip it's a video but i feel okay today i look very tired and like i feel like my skin's kind of like flared up flared up a little bit like i've got quite a lot of spots coming on um i don't know if that's just from like the stress a bit of like the lead up to the market and then the market and then my body's just like oh so I'm just taking it easy today. Yesterday was like quite an easy day as well, to be honest. But we did go and see some of like Kyle's family, which I'm surprised I felt up to, to be honest, just because I'm normally like very sensitive to these things. So, but I'm glad I did just because, um, yeah, I don't know if I would have like felt worse if I had just like stayed in bed or just like stayed like slouched on the couch. Um, so I'm hoping, hoping just building up my stamina a little bit <laughs> um but today's like yeah this is i'm gonna take a day off today and like just do me things just to like fill up my jar and fill up my cup because it feels quite low at the minute in terms of just like my needs um i do have like a few orders to pack of like takeaway mugs which i'm really really thankful for so thank you so much i just got like another like two over the weekend and like one yesterday so i've got like four in total two of the orders have been sat for a while just because they're these ones which are like the slightly newer takeaway mugs but they just took a while for me to make um but yeah i like i do quite like how they look i just feel like they're a bit like inconsistent sometimes and like on some of the other mugs i've had like issue things of like bubbling um which like i don't really mind like too much because it kind of just looks like part of the design but obviously it's like i want them to look like as perfect as possible um but yeah i've got yeah two of those and then two of those so i'm gonna do that this morning and then send those off just because they need going and then i'm thinking of just like having a bit of a tidy up because in here is like such a mess and i don't mind really mess too much to be honest but obviously i think it gets to like a point where it kind of feels a bit like a weight so and i like have avoided coming into this space like since before the market because i was just coming in here to like literally not like relax or anything but just like work and get the stuff done for the market and then move on um but yeah super chilled day i'm actually thinking about maybe popping into like more perth um to go and have a look in the pet shop because <laughs> i um uh me and kyle well i've been looking for dogs to adopt and like it's gonna be mine and kyle's dog but like i'm the primary like dog parent um so it's kind of been like left to me to like look for the dog just because um yeah i enjoyed doing it to be honest i don't know if like kyle's just like felt a bit because he's got quite a lot on at work and i think because my job is so like flexible and like i can kind of well I can work when I want but then sometimes that ends up being like instead of a nine to five it becomes 24 7 but um yeah I think I'm just the one who's kind of pushing it a little bit um he does really want a dog I just don't know I'm just I was a bit surprised that he did, like wasn't as like looking for them as much as me but I think I quite like that it's just me looking for them because it means then I can kind of choose the dog that I want um but then I just think well I'm going to be looking after the dog the most so then I kind of want the dog that suits me more at the moment um i had a look at like two lurchers and they were snapped up like really quickly i did put an application in for them but like they were so i can see like why they were so popular and also they were on like dogs trust website and then a newcastle dog and cat shelter which i imagine is like quite popular and like every time i go on like and this could be like daily i'll see a dog that i like apply for it and then it's like kind of gone the next day so it's quite like a yeah intense like quick process um and i think like as well like for me personally i think i need to just like take a little bit of a risk and just like go for things because i think sometimes i'll like think about things too much and then i don't know if maybe like because i'll be i'll ask them questions and i don't know if that like puts people off like the fact that i'm asking when i should just go and meet the dog first and then ask the questions when i'm there um but I think that's just like the bit of the like anxiety, anticipation, excitement kind of thing. Um, but yeah, there's a dog that I've applied for called Clyde. And he is a Dalmatian Spaniel mix. Um, 
which is like really interesting but he like he had a sister called bonnie so bonnie and clyde and bonnie's been adopted and so clyde's there he's one he's just turned one and he has like the sweetest face in the world honestly if like if book and mel he is so so lovely um there's not really much to like too much about him in his description apart from that like he's quite timid he says it's very positive like really really lovable very very like loves like attention and things like that um but yeah the only thing that like because obviously i want to know everything as much as i can just that says he's quite timid and a bit shy but i don't think that's like really too much of an issue and i feel like if i can kind of like really give him the confidence and like make him like a really confident happy dog then i think that's great um but yeah i think he he seems to like be okay with other dogs as well there's like photos of him like walking in like a pack of dogs which is good i don't know what he's like with children um but he seems just really really lovely there was like a really funny video of him kind of like it looks like he was given the camera like attitude and it was really funny um but yeah out of like all of the dogs that i've looked at he's i feel like he looks like the most interesting to me um and like he seems to be the like well, it's the only dog that I've seen like with a bit of personality, with a bit of cheek, which I quite like. Um, but I've got like a friend who has Dalmatians, um, who I've visited a couple of times, and they've always been very like lovely dogs, like a little bit like vocal, but like in quite a f like not in like a. Um, I was gonna say like an annoying way, but not in like a an anxious way vocal but just like when you talk to them they can be like a bit responsive and like that's quite nice and they seem to be quite like chilled dogs well hers um theirs did um so i thought that was quite nice like because they're the only like dalmatians that i've ever met but like i really like them <laughs> um i've got a nice photo of like kyle with the dalmatian like i'll I, I, I won't put it i was gonna say i'll put it up here but i don't even know if i've got it anymore so i won't bother doing that um but yeah just welcome to another vlog it's gonna be like a super i say a super chilled one but actually maybe not so this week i'm actually gonna do a shop update on friday which is like the 2nd of august um just with all the leftover things from like the market um because there is quite a lot and then i'm hoping as well i'm gonna try put some in a gallery i think as well because i've got now quite like a good chunk of stock um i'm gonna i'm thinking as well of like selling some things like i'm gonna sell like some sales stuff as well because i just want to like move as much as i can so then i've got more space to like make more um because the work is kind of changing and evolving quite quickly at the moment um and what i want to focus on has kind of like changed from what i started at the beginning of like a few months ago so i was kind of making like these quite um decorative like porcelain pieces but now they're almost like full-on painting pieces which is kind of what i want to go into so um yeah if you're watching this the shop will be live already it's yeah 4th of august but um 4th of august 2nd of august but i'm actually just going to put everything on etsy and like see how that goes um just because i seem to be getting the most like traction on etsy so i'm just going to do like an etsy shop update and yeah that's kind of it for an update as always i get like i do a bit of a long intro but i just feel like i like to kind of like reflect on like the past week reflect on like what i hope this week to be and then reflect on how i'm feeling as well i'm feeling pretty good i feel tired as heck I feel so tired um but like i don't think i've been sleeping very well and again i'm don't know if it's to do with like just the market like the anticipation for the market um but i'm also trying to like i spend like quite a lot of time on my phone especially like before bed as and it's like i don't want to do that because i just feel like that probably doesn't like help in terms of like relaxing and kind of like winding down and getting ready for bed so i'm going to try like this week to like not go on my phone like an hour before i go to bed um like i don't mind if i'm like watching tv and things like that because it's like we'll work, watch tv on a projector so i don't find that too like but obviously when you're on your phone it's kind of like it's here and like the light blue light is quite bright or whatever um but yeah i hope you're all well and i hope you enjoyed the last few vlogs um but yeah just gonna have a super chill day and then maybe go to morpeth and have a look in the pet shop and just like 
buy some little dog things just in preparation for if a dog if if this dog is meant to be with us or not um, I just wanted to go buy like some toys and then I also found on Etsy like a really nice collar that I wanted to get um yeah and me and Kyle for like a dog name we both like the name Bjorn um Scandinavian name which is we both really like or something like a bit different um very very sweet name though but yeah I will see you in the next like few clips or so but yeah this is gonna be maybe like I don't know an easy vlog maybe oh, I don't know actually who knows I'll just see you in the next clip anyway but hope you're all well and I hope you enjoy it Everything is such a mess at the minute, but that's the one. I'm running out of packing materials again. Well, not again, but just like running out of like tissue paper and stuff. So I might do like an order today, like a small one. I do have this tissue paper, um, but it's not like the, the colour that I want. And it kind of looks a bit like Christmas tissue paper. Um, I wanted it to be like a burnt orange, like what my... Um, it is but I feel like that's probably like a very like bespoke like colour to get um so I'm gonna get some just like olive green from online or something like that um, but yeah I also need to buy some more like um like uh filler do you call it like packaging filler so like the stuff that kind of goes around the item so then that you've got um you've got a bit of padding when it gets moved about and stuff i also need to make some more thank you cards i also need to buy myself some printer ink which is like on my list it's just i think i've just been avoiding buying printer ink and it sounds really silly but just like the printer ink has been like so um expensive for the printer that I got because I bought myself like quite an expensive printer like a while ago um and like the printer ink for it is kind of like almost a hundred pounds to like fill it so I've just been kind of yeah avoiding it but I shouldn't really I should just do it because obviously it's gonna you know and like being able to print my own like thank you cards and stuff is like quite nice so but yes, I'm just doing, I'm on, I've got two more orders to pack and then I'm going to take them to the post office and then I'm going to go straight to Morpus and have a look at some pet toys and yeah, do that. But um, a massive thank you to everyone who's had, done an order. It's been really nice. Um, I feel like it's like picked up like quite a bit where I'm kind of getting like a, an order every like few days, which is like something like my dream was to get like at least an order a day and like to get an order like every few days is like so amazing um especially for like my ceramics as well um but yeah thank you very much appreciate the support people who have kind of ordered over like 50 pounds worth of stuff i've been putting some like uh, keychains in them that I got made like a while ago I can't find one um, but they're really nice keychains they're just like a sensitive soul keychains just in text black and white 
um i'd love to get some more made just because like i quite like keychains and like as well it makes it quite nice as as like a, an added little thing for people um especially when they've like ordered quite a like a lot um i did think like if someone orders like over a hundred pounds worth of stuff i'll probably add in like an extra little ceramic something um but yeah just thought i'd I think it's nice it's nice to give things for free sometimes like i think if i i'm a, i'm i say i'm not very i think i am a good business person but like i do give quite a lot because i like it and it's like it's so nice to like give when you can and like uh i gave the guy um on the market over the weekend the guy who was serving coffee like gave like i can he gave all the vendors like a discount but i just wanted to say like a thank you so i gave him one of my like takeaway mugs and he was like oh, i was gonna buy one and i was like oh no honestly like because that's like very very kind isn't it when people do that um so yeah very sweet sweet people Hello, so I went into more Perth um, to, sort, to get some bits and <laughs> I was going to show you. Some people might think I'm being too much. I know, we don't, I know I don't have a dog right now, but there's no harm in preparing and I'm allowed to get like excited about it. I'm going to, I'm cooking dinner by the way. Um, so I just thought I'd show you what I got. I just like, I'm allowed to get excited and it makes me feel really happy. So, and like all of these things are going to last like until next year. So like, it's not like I'm wasting anything. Um, but I went to a really nice pet shop in Morpeth. Um, I cannot remember the name, but um, really, really good. Ooh. And I got... <laughs> And then I also got a poop dog dispenser. Um, and then I got some training treats. Um, these are all like super 100% like natural. I try to get like as organic as possible. Um, yeah. And like home baked goods. I got some mint scented poo bags. Because Kyle's not going great with smells. <laughs> he like gags if the bin smells a bit funky. So I got that for him mainly. And then I got like a lick mat because obviously um I'm gonna I've got I've got a uh, I've got another one in the car as well that is in the shape of a pineapple, but I thought these would probably be like really healthy for like um what do you call it? For the light distraction, but obviously to keep their minds like busy. Um, enrichment over. And I got these, which are like um, hand baked with love, and it's just like che little cheesy bites, cheesy mins. And then I also got um, some tick removers. And that's it. Little for you. Um, yeah, so still haven't heard anything back from about Clyde. Um, I was like a little bit probably of a pest for the people, but just like I did send like an application on Friday and then like earlier this morning, she, the woman who like I think helps run the organisation she had like put a post saying that like these three dogs haven't had like been home yet and like Clyde was one of them and I was kind of like oh like I've put an application for him so I tried to like ring up and then I also sent them like another email just to like show my interest um and like I don't really know how quickly these things happen and how much people get back to you I just it's just from like previous dogs that I've applied for um 
yeah it just they seem to go very quickly so like i'd prefer to seem like eager and very keen than not um but we're gonna cook some pasta sauce tonight because it's easy and i just i haven't got a lot of energy to cook at the moment um but i did have a nice time in morpeth i just kind of took it a bit easy had like a nice walk and then i got myself like a drink and then i just sat at the park and just like had a bit of me time and then i went and popped and saw my mum because i got she's just got a rescue dog called bonnie um bonnie and clyde <laughs> again it seems to be quite like a popular name like for a dog duo um i got her dog bonnie like a little brown duck and then i've got whoever will be our dog they can use that um and yeah, that was quite nice. It's really busy at the minute. I keep forgetting that it's like the school holidays. So like everywhere seems to be like a little bit like full of people. Um, but yeah, so I'm just feeling like very impatient at the moment. And like, because I, I just like, I don't, I try not to get my hopes up around the dog. Like obviously I'm allowed to just like get excited about it. But um, I think I'm just like, I just want to know. So then I can like start looking like at another dog, like if, like Clyde wasn't meant to be um but I've got my fingers crossed and we will see and I'll take you along like if we meet him and things like that when we meet him I should say um if it was meant to be so but yeah I'm gonna just cook dinner but I'll probably see you tomorrow hello and good morning it is Tuesday we're back to work back to normal um I had quite a nice day yesterday I just like went um yeah, went into Morpeth, I think I said, got some little dog bits, and then went and saw my parents. I'm still waiting um, for a response, yeah, from the rescue. I think I'm just being really impatient at the minute. Um, it's just because I know how quickly the dogs can go, so I just feel a bit like I just want to know, so then I can either, like, you know, start preparing or, like, let it go and then have a look for another dog. Um, I don't really feel like I've woken up fully yet but that's okay so today I'm going to be just like downstairs I'm in my kitchen at the minute and um, I'm just going to be preparing for the shop update um, so I've just gotten like a whole load of bits from the market to just upload um, I'm also thinking of having some like sale items as well and then just I'm going to see how that goes um, but yeah, I've got like a photo booth set up over there. That's my little <laughs> photo booth. <laughs> of august so it's my birthday month which i'm like really looking forward to to be honest um i have turned 27 um so yeah that's quite nice um i'm hopefully doing some like nice things for my birthday um i've booked a nice dinner at a thai restaurant um near where we live for me and kyle um, because I think I really like it, so that'll be nice. And then on my actual birthday, because my birthday's on like a Thursday, um, me and my mum are gonna do like a sketchbook day where we go up to. I think we're gonna go up to Gibside and like have a sketch. And she's gonna invite her friend Gillian, who's also kind of my friend a little bit as well. But she's really really lovely, and she's this amazing art uh, artist tutor. And then my dad said that he would cook us a nice like lunch um so that'll be really really nice and then on i'm hoping maybe like on friday that me and kyle might go bowling um i'll see how he feels but i'd really like to do that as well and then on saturday me my mum my dad and kyle and bonnie are gonna all go out and do kind of like a walk and a picnic 
um haven't really decided like where yet but that's kind of what we're doing and then at the end of august my sister's coming up so i'll get to see her which will be really nice as well um so yeah like nice nice plans um i've felt i think i've felt like the past like few years like my birthday hasn't been like the most like happiest of occasions um because i just i think i've just been on like i've ended up just being on my own for a lot of my birthdays like on the actual day um and that made me really sad um but yeah like i can't do you know what i mean people are busy and work and especially if it's on like a weekday um but yeah um so today i've just been um doing a bit of admin i've just done a little bit of planning in my diary just for the rest of this week because i just haven't been like using my diary as much and i feel like when i do use it it makes me feel kind of more productive and better about my week um and then i've just packed a little order somebody ordered a sleeping soul which was really nice so i'll be sending that off today um i have also just put in an order for a hundred no i've also just put in an order for 15 books um like for me to have so um the money that i made from the market basically i've just put like straight into that because i need like my own stock i think of books um because i think that they will do really really well at markets especially near christmas um so that'll be really good and then i also have just been emailing some like mental health advocates slash like influencers to see if they'd be interested in receiving the book and i kind of tried to word it in a way that was just like um because obviously i want to send people the book for them to enjoy it but then also it would be nice for them to like share it with like their community so it can get out there and like reach more people and um yeah because like my idea is that it you know can get into as many like hands as possible um but yeah, it's hard to like word it in a way that just doesn't sound like really, really formal and like it's just all about money and it's all about like an exchange of business kind of thing because I like, I prefer people to do it because they want to, not because like I've told them to. Um, So I tried to word it in a way of just like, um, it would be great, like appreciated if you felt comfortable enough to share it with like your community. Um. But, like, obviously, at the end of the day, like, I can't force somebody to do it. And as well, like, I'm not paying them and I don't want to do that because then that makes it a weird transaction. Um, So I've done that. And then um, I need to send some photos to a collab that I did, um, that the Munbi printer. Um, There's just a couple of things that I need to do to, like, tie that to an end. Um, And it's sending some photos of, like, printer in situ kind of thing and like me using it or me hold, like holding it kind of thing um and then today I'm at like half 10 well I'm gonna leave here at 10 um I'm gonna go and have a little meeting with my mum because we're doing an exhibition next year and we kind of she kind of knows what she's doing but I don't really know what I'm doing so she's been working on building a body of work um which is a course that Gillian Lee Smith uh does who I mentioned earlier and it looks like an amazing course but she's kind of got this really like rich now like body of work where I'm feeling a little bit just like I don't I still don't feel like I know like what I'm doing with my art I still feel like it's just I'm just doing what kind of feels right and kind of working a little bit intuitively um but I haven't really felt like I could give the time to like really sit down and like research something because at the minute all I'm kind of thinking about is like right which how can I make like a bit of extra money this month like what is it can I do to try and like reach a better audience oh how can I like get my Etsy out there um yeah so my I haven't like felt yeah that I could give myself that space to like start like researching on like a topic or start kind of like developing this body of work without there being kind of the pressure of like earning um but I mean, I have been developing like some bits like this week, again, just because I've kind of had a bit of a step back from like, I haven't thrown it all this week, just because I wanted like a break, um, especially from like the market and stuff. 
and just kind of like a bit of a rest and a reset. Um, I do have like one commission to do from Etsy, a really lovely woman. She bought one of my smaller takeaway mugs, but she has commissioned me to do like a larger one. So I'm looking forward to doing that and that will be an easy one. I've just put the kiln on this morning. Um, I've put in just two like large pieces that needed firing, just again to like just tie up loose ends that I've done of things. Um, so yeah, and then I also started on a drawing yesterday, which I kind of haven't like finished yet. It's supposed to be inspired by like Medusa um, and kind of like she's sending her snakes off to defend her home. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'd like to try do it in like colour, but I'm still kind of like working on like my colour palette and like how I want to display colour within a piece. Um, but yeah, I'm, I think I'm probably going to end this just video here just because like the rest of the week I'm not really doing much. Um, but obviously the shop update. Oh yeah, I've been working on the shop update as well. That's tomorrow. Um, so it will be live once like before this video goes up. Um, so if you feel like it, please feel free to check it. It's just my Etsy page. Um, there kind of will be between like 10 and like 15 pieces available. Uh, just to, yeah, try like, it's like letting stuff go for then more stuff to come in. And like, I want to work on some more pieces and things like that as well. Um, and then I've also sold some pieces at a gallery that I gave some pieces to, to like exhibit. And that was really nice to wake up to this morning. Um, so gallery four in St. Abs have got kind of like a handful of my pieces. I think maybe about five um, and like three of them sold. So I'm really pleased about that. Um, so I'm going to maybe put some of the work that I've got aside for them to like top it up just because that was really nice. Um, and like, yeah, dog update as well. So I've finally got an email back from the rescue. Um, so everything is actually okay. So, um, cause I think I was just worried that like the dog that I applied for that, like maybe like we weren't like suited or like maybe they didn't, didn't think that we were like a good match. Um, even though like the application that I sent in like didn't really give much to be honest it was like a really simple like home check application it just kind of gave like given my inf some of my information about like where I live and stuff and then just like why like um an ex like experience with dogs um but yeah like that I got an email back from kind of like one of the women yesterday and basically they're just like really low on like volunteers to do like home checks so um I can relax a bit now just because I, again I was just worried in case that like I wasn't able to kind of like at least like meet him and then kind of yeah make a judgment on that um so that's been quite nice but yeah like long process I didn't think it would be like such a long process the other rescues that I've applied for when I found a dog that I like they got back to me um well that's a lie some rescues that I've applied for they have gotten back to me like within like a day um but I wonder if they've got like paid workers there and like not volunteers um so yeah we'll just see how it goes and yeah we'll go from there I think I had um I've got a friend who's just adopted a dog and they didn't do a home check and they got their dog really really quickly and I was a bit like that's a bit I don't know I feel like you need to do a home check even though like if the house on the outside looks okay somebody might you never know what goes on in the inside and like obviously you want to check like the garden and things like that so I was a bit like whoa that's a bit weird just to but they said that they don't do that anymore they just check on like google maps and I was a bit like hmm but you never know what somebody's like got inside their home that could be like potentially harmful to the dog or what happens if like they were like breeders and they were getting a dog to breed and like inside the home was just like dogs everywhere um but yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry, it wasn't like the best vlog, to be honest, because again, it was just like me like resting and just doing like admin bits, really. Um, but yeah, hopefully like next week is going to be a bit more of a productive vlog and then like my birthday and stuff as well. So that'd be nice. Um, but I hope you're all well and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.